Welcome back everyone. I thought I'd do a one year review of the Dell XPS 9300 developer edition laptop that I have here. So it's been one year and um, I thought I'd give some updates on this. This model is the HD non-touch display with the i7 processor, 16 gigabytes of RAM, 256 gigabytes of SSD storage, and being the developer edition, it came with Ubuntu 1804, and I have since upgraded to 2004. So I thought I'd give some updates on the battery life, the CPU temperature tests that I did before. I'll put videos of those original tests at the end of the video. Um, but yeah, let's get to the updates. So I ran the battery test. Once again, I streamed YouTube uh, continuously. I did this at 50% brightness. Um, I did this off Wi-Fi and I made sure there was no dim dimness or power saving settings, you know, turning off Bluetooth or whatever. Um, so this lasted for seven hours. Um, so this is pretty much what I expected. Uh, and if you want to get, um, you know, extend the, the battery life, you can dim it, the brightness even further. Sometimes I get this at around 30%. Obviously, if you're in airplane mode, you're going to extend even longer. I took a trip last year that was um, seven hours on a plane. This had no problem lasting throughout the entire trip when it was in airplane mode and it was dimmer, which didn't have any problem for me being able to see it because I had the shade drawn uh, next to my seat. So it was actually pretty dark on the plane. So this was fine. I even used this for a few hours after I landed and it, it was still fine. So battery life, yeah, I would say anywhere between seven to 10 hours is probably gonna be what you would expect. Now, I have seen some people have complaints about their XPS laptop only lasting four hours. Well, every single one of those uh, reviews I've seen has been because it's the 4K version. It's only in the 4K version that you're gonna get those battery life. and. I knew that when I bought this laptop, and that's the reason why I didn't buy the 4K model, even though, yes, the screen is more impressive. But I did get the i7. So the i7 comes with the better graphics chip. With that, that and I double-checked, the 4K model has the same graphics chip. So you can attach a 4K monitor to this laptop and get 4K when you're at home. And when you're on the road, you just have the standard HD display and you get a few more hours of battery life. It's win-win, I thought. So that was why I picked this model. Um, I do wish I had waited a little bit longer when there was more options available on this, such as a larger SSD. This only has 256. I think you can get at least a terabyte at this point. So I wish I had waited for that, but the good news is it is replaceable so if i do want to replace this in the future i can get another ssd and swap it in so that's very good um i also had my uh one year warranty expire which came free i didn't spend anything extra on this it just came with came with the laptop free and i did not renew it i didn't really see the point of having the dell uh, customer support. They didn't really seem to know too much about Linux. It seemed like Windows was their expertise. So I decided not to do that. Um, and one reason why I know this uh, Windows is their expertise is that the fact when it, once I saw this same model being sold on Dell's website with the newer OS version of 2004, uh, I asked if I could upgrade my 1804 to 2004 and they didn't have any clue how to do that or any steps or even that it was even supported even though they're selling the exact same laptop with 2004. So I ended up doing that on my own, worked fine, no problems, um, fingerprint reader works, um, the facial recognition from the camera works with the third-party uh, Project Howdy, which I made another video for, check that out. 
Um, so yeah, I have no problems with uh, 2004 here. Um, I, it's, it is nice that they do have the dark mode with 24. So I did another video with the 2004 feature, so I won't get too far into that, but it is nice having that as an option on this laptop in order to maybe save some battery life and also the fractal scaling of 125 uh, or you know, any somewhere between 100 and 200 percent is great when you have an external 4k monitor hooked up um, so that's a nice convenience so bottom line i really like this laptop um, it has worked very well for me in the past year um, can't believe it's already been a year i thought it would be doing more traveling but uh, obviously that didn't pan out, but I definitely do like this laptop. Um, so one thing I would um, keep in mind, the ports, there's two Thunderbolt ports. Uh, maybe that might not be enough for you. Probably want to get like a hub or something to uh, attach more things to it. It does come with the convenience uh, USB-A to USB-C adapter. So that's nice. Um, if I had to nitpick a little bit, I would like, would have liked the keyboard backlight uh, to be um, customizable for color. You know, right now it can only do white. It'd be nice if you can do different colors, maybe green, blue, red, whatever. Um, that would have been a nice feature. I don't think it would have been too hard to do, but I don't think they're targeting this towards gamers. I would not recommend this for gaming because it doesn't have a dedicated GPU card so I wouldn't uh, choose that um, especially in this form factor where it maybe heating might be a problem if you were doing something extensive like that um, regarding heating yes I, I, I did the test for um, uh, compiling OpenCV with seven threads I did that before in another video but I did did it today got uh, similar results. I had the temperatures in the mid uh, 70s in Celsius. Um, so, it, and the fans kicked on once it, once it hit 80 or so. So yeah, same results. So no, no difference there between 1804 and 2004 as far as I could tell. And it's been a year. So like, you know, it hasn't, um, you know, performance is still on par what happened last year when I did these tests. So that's really good. Uh, one other thing, I did get tried to install another uh, Linux OS on a micro SD card and boot from that. I tried Pop OS specifically. Uh, I had a lot of trouble doing that. Couldn't get it to work actually. So I have had other people uh, post that they had similar problems with different uh, Linux OSs and you know, they talked to Dell said, uh, Ubuntu was the only one that was uh, compatible for this device or supported for this device. I mean, I, that seems like the, the typical response. Um, but yeah, I tried for myself and sure enough, I wasn't able to do it. So if you're thinking of wiping out the OS here for a different Linux OS, um, you might want to reconsider that, that plan because it might not work. Um, so just FYI there. But other than that, um, it's been a very nice laptop, very happy with it. Uh, I look forward to using this uh, for the next year. Hopefully we can travel some more. Um, if you enjoy the video, give a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you like videos like this and check out my other videos on this laptop. Have a good day.